Let's look at a very simple project that allows you to build a container from scratch. There's only a few files necessary. First, let's look at this Docker file. Inside this Docker file, you can see that I inherit from Python 3. This is the core image where the core developers have expertise that I don't have and I use their expertise. I make an app directory, I copy an application file, and then I go through here and install third-party packages. Great. So that's the Docker file. Well, what about the application file? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. If we look at this application file, you can see that it's a very simple command line tool that accepts a name and then prints out what your name is. So it's a hello world command line tool. So how do we containerize this and get this working? Well, let's go ahead and clone this project into AWS Cloud9, which is a cloud-based development environment. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this go over to this environment and type in git clone. There we go. Now I'm going to CD into there. And what we'll see here is again, the same structure for the project. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to read the readme here to see how I could actually go through here and uh, run this project. So the instructions say that uh, in order to run it, I would just need to run in this command and first uh, we'll run it and then I'll explain it. So you can see here docker run dash IT, uh, the name of the repository where this is stored, which is externally located uh, inside of uh, Docker Hub. And then I pass in some parameters just like this. So let's go ahead and run this. Great. So you can see here what happens is now that I've run it once, um, I can put in different parameters and use it over and over again. But the whole idea is that the runtime is located somewhere else. Now, now if I want to run this locally, uh, I could actually put in a docker build command. So let's go ahead and put this inside of this repo. Let's say uh, docker build dash tag. I'll call this tag app and I'll run dot. And what the dot says is just look inside this current working directory and build what's in this Docker file. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. So it's running it locally. And then if I want to look at this and run it, I can actually say Docker image ls. It'll show me the latest copies. Here we go. Here's the app. And so if I want to run this locally, I could just say uh, that I could slightly change this readme file command and say Docker run. dash IT. In this case, instead of putting this remote uh, image, what I'll do is I'll use a local one. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll just put in these commands. And this will run the local version of that image. There we go. So you can see that you can use a Docker container that's hosted somewhere else, or you can actually build it yourself and actually customize it and push it somewhere else.